Hi, this is Paul Tannehill. I'm the eLearning Systems Administrator at Lynn Benton Community College. I'll be sharing in this screencast how to forward your Roadrunner email to another email address. I might refer to it as your Google Apps for Ed email address. It runs on that system, so it's the same thing. So I'm logged in right now to my Roadrunner account. I'm looking on the right side for a gear symbol, either this one and down to settings, or this one by my email address up in the upper right and down to settings or mail settings. So right now I click on the forwarding and pop slash IMAP link. And of course I want to click the add a forwarding address button. At this point I input the email address that I want to forward to. And click the next button. And it tells me a confirmation code has been sent to verify permission. And click OK. And now I go check that email. And here's that confirmation email. On a side note, if you're an employee wanting to forward your Roadrunner account over to your work email address, your lynnbenton.edu email address, you most likely will not get this confirmation email. It will just forward automatically at that point after you input it. If you do get the confirmation email, you look for the confirmation code. You can copy it. You could also click this link It'll take you into the an interface that will allow you to decide, well, this next step. I'll go to it now. I'm logged in a different browser, so I can have them both at the same time. So at this point, I'm choosing to use the confirmation code, and I can paste it in there. And click the Verify button. And now I've got the option to disable forwarding or to enable it by clicking here where it says forward a copy of incoming mail to and then that email address that I chose. The next drop down lets you choose to keep a copy in your Roadrunner account or these other options. I'm going to choose as a as a safeguard to keep a copy in my original email account as it also forwards a copy to the one I chose. As I scroll down here, one important thing I want to enable IMAP make sure it's enabled. If it's disabled, choose Enable IMAP and click Save Changes. Now at this point I've got email forwarding turned on so when I receive an email to this email address it'll stay in this inbox and a copy gets forwarded to the one I chose. So there you go. There's how to forward your email. Thanks for watching. Have a great term.